<gasps> she summons a drone. Let's go. Chat, do you guys want me to talk about the new hero, the leaks that we know? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure that this is true, by the way. It can be, it can be, it can be wrong, but it seems pretty legit. Boom. There you go. So we know that they deleted the picture. So we, it confirms that it's true. And then they leaked this one too. We know that her name is Ilara. Ilari, for 100% sure, because that was a leaked photo of her in the menu. Uh, we know her name is Ilari. It's the next support. Uh, she looks like, if you look at her weapon or so, she reminds me of Senna from League of Legends. It's fake, you think so? Why do you think so? So yeah, the, the first thing that I want to say, I, I'm not sure if this is fake or it's not fake. We, I don't know. But this was leaked. The thing is, you're going to see that the English is not perfect. But that also, that also confirms or reaffirms that it's true. Do you know why? Because whenever there is a new hero released, chat, uh, they released first in Japan or Korea. So th this photo, it's like recent Korea and people try to translate it. And usually when they translate it, the translation is not great. We'll know if it's fake when the hero comes out. True. That's the way to see it. Okay, so her name is Ilyari. She's an ex-support. Um, this most likely is true. Like, this is 100% true. I already actually knew this. I knew this, but I never leaked it. That her name is Ilyari. Um, so this I can confirm 100%. Her name. And this is her, 100% too, because we've seen already, like, um, an Easter egg from Blizzard themselves, right? So this is her, 100%. Now, the abilities, it can be fake or not. Okay. <clears throat> Weapons and ultimate. Enlightening Summer Ray Gun. So it's, it's like her theme, it's related like to sun and light, right? Which is interesting. Hold to release a healing beam. So hold to release, like uh, Life Weaver, you know that you have to press it and then let go to like, to charge up the full heal, right? So this reminds me of it, which heals Nerby allies. Nerby allies, so it's AOE healing or it's a beam. So I wonder if the beam goes through everyone, or how does this work? Because we know that Son, we know that Senna, th this character seems to be based on Senna from League of Legends, and we know that Senna has an ability, a Q, that when she cues her teammates or the enemy, anyone in the in the beam, in the beam range or in the beam um, path gets healed, but if it's an enemy, gets damaged. And this says that it runs on a resource meter. So it's a beam that you hold, and anyone in the beam apparently gets healed, which is interesting. So our weapon, which it seems to be our main, our main left click, it's a beam that heals people. That's what this is saying. And then there is another ability, Desecrating Glare. Old alternative fire, which is the right click. So this is the left click, this is the right click. I'm guessing you'll be able to change it. Old alternative fire... Old alternate fire to fire a damaging beam which discords enemies after three seconds. Ooh, no. Discord is always so strong against ball. But this is interesting. So it's the right click and you need to hold it. And again, a weapon runs on a resource meter. So you have to balance that out well, it seems. Which discords enemies after three seconds. Ooh, so it's not instant like. Uh, Okay, it's not that strong just because of it. It's not that as, this is not as strong. It's not as strong as Zen Discord, it seems. Or maybe it's stronger, I don't know. But Zen, like Zen Discord makes everyone doing more damage. You just gotta use your E on someone and that someone is gonna take more damage, which is super strong. Check Furia Ulti and Paladins more. I, I will laugh. Okay. This is interesting. So instead of healing, the right click, does the same, but discords enemies after three seconds. After three seconds? That's a lot of time. Adds a glare effect to your enemy's view and recharges your healing. Ooh, so this is very interesting. This is only after three seconds, which I think is really good, so it's not super power powerful. Adds a glare effect to your enemy's view and recharge your healing. What's a glare effect to the enemies? Glare effects. What is this? Oh, like blinds them. This is so interesting. 
and then after three seconds, it discords them. But does this mean that they're going to do more damage? Because it says discords, but because of the translator, because of the translation, maybe my guess is that this is not that, this is not that uh, you're going to do more damage to them. It's more like they get discorded and after three seconds, they get blinded. They had this glare effect on them. That's my guess, but I can be wrong. Because this looks weird, like... Because this is also a beam, right? This is the same beam as the healing. So everyone that is in the path, it, this is going to happen. This is so interesting. I'm so curious to play the character, if this is true. And then we have something else that I cannot see that well. An Antimania, or anti Antimanta... Antimanta man something. I don't know what this is. I, I'm guessing this is like an ability. My guess is this, this is an ability. Or no. Or th maybe this is a passive. This might be a passive, by the way, but I cannot read what this is. It. Can you guys read what it is? I can't. More anti-tanks. Do you think she's going to be anti-tank? It depends. If this Discord... I don't think this is actually Discord like Zenyatta. But if this... If this makes sure that everyone does more damage on the beam, it's not as strong as Zenyatta because only people on the beam get it. Um, well, actually, <laughs> wait, wait a second. Maybe it's stronger than Zenyatta if this actually makes sure that everyone does more damage. Because you can have multiple discords in multiple enemies because it's a beam. Unless it's single target. But I don't think it's still going to target considering the healing too. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> hopefully not, hopefully not. Okay, activates a free flight mode, which allows you to pick two locations to deploy a rapid sunbeam. To deploy a rapid sun, what the heck is this? So you pick two spots. Uh, this, my guess is this is ability has two charges or something. Enemies caught in will quickly lose damage and have a discord effect applied to them. Oh no, the discord one again. Enemies caught in, in... What is this? What is a rapid sunbeam? A rapid sunbeam. Another beam. Is this an ability? I don't know what this is. Is this the ultimate? This must be the ultimate, chat. I think this is the ultimate. Do you guys think this is the ultimate? You have to beep them for three seconds before they get discorded? Yeah, it seems so. And after the, dis uh, after the three seconds, you also had the glare? I don't know what this is it. Might be like Bastion's ulti. Oh, you're right. Activates a free flight mode. Will she be flying when she does this or? Yeah, it means D12 that it can blind you. Yeah. The glare effect, it's kind of like a blind effect. It's harder to see. Allows you to pick two locations. So like Bastion ulti, maybe you might be right. To deploy a rapid sunbeam. So I guess this is like a, a beam that comes from the sky. And it will, it will like land on the ground. Enemies caught in will quickly lose damage. So they're going to do less damage. And they have a discord effect applied to them. So this, doesn't, this ability, it, it just feels like it's utility, right? It doesn't feel like it does damage. This is all utility. People does less damage. And you also do more damage to them. And you don't need to wait the three seconds. This is like instantly. This is very, very interesting. This is very good for team fights and to combo too. <clears throat> this will need a this will need a lot of uh, synergy on your team. I like so you press Q and uh, there is two beams that come from the sky where you can choose the location and boom boom, nice. Okay, now let's go to our abilities. We checked her weapon and we checked her ultimate. Now let's go to our ability. Forceful Ricochet, okay? Bounce up high in the air, uh, what? While simultaneously knocking back incoming enemies. <laughs> no CC! It's CC, no! She has a shit ton of utility on CC. It doesn't seem she has a lot of damage, though. She doesn't seem to have damage, but she has a lot of utility. Bounce up in the air, while simultaneously knocking back incoming enemies. Wait, what does that mean? Like ricochet, bounce up in the air. 
bounce up high in the air while simultaneously knocking back incoming enemies. I don't know what this means. When she flies, she knock, she knocks up people. Does she does she like throw a wave or something when she jumps? How you guys think this ability will be? My guess is that she jumps in the air and when she jumps, she creates a wave in the ground that boops people off. Bob jump with a knockback. Yeah, it feels like that. It's interesting that they say bounce up high in the air while simultaneously knocking back incoming enemies. So my guess is that like Bob jump, you jump in the air high and then you, you throw a wave that knocks people out. But that's just my guess, okay? That's one of our abilities. My guess is that's, that's our shift, my guess. CC, OP. Healing drone. I see, Farah. Thanks for the adding ricochet. Thanks for the, the info added. Healing drone. <gasps> she summons a drone. Let's go. Deploys a healing drone. Let's go. Yes. I love turrets. Deploy a healing drone. Prioritize allies. A drone that heals. So she has no damage, chat. <laughs> so, chat, she has no damage. There is no damage here. Well, she has her beam, fire damaging beam, never mind. Like a, a right click, it's the only ability that does damage. Which is pretty bad to solo queue, by the way. Like your hero not having damage, it's bad for solo queue. But she has so much utility. And her utility she seems to be stronger than her utility seems to be stronger than Life's Weaver. So she deploys a turret. Or, or a drone, not a turret. A drone is in the sky, right? The turret is, is in the ground. Prioritize willing. Healing, prioritize allies with the lowest heals, which is really strong. Or if they're being healed. So you gotta heal the people that are low and the turret will prioritize that too. But if you're not healing anyone, this is nice because you can deploy a turret and you can just right-click someone, right? With the damage. Or if they're being... If they're being healed with the Enlightened Summer Ray, like this one, right? With the left click. So it doesn't seem that it do damage. The drone doesn't do damage. And then you have an extra ability, which is a flashbang. Adds a glare and discord effect to Nurby enemies on first contact. <laughs> so this is like a grenade. That is crazy. So diving, diving the backline is going to be so hard. Like, because you have the Discord, you have the glare effect from a weapon, and then you have the flashbang, and then there is the drone healing, and then there is the knockback. She has CC, an insane amount of utility. Adds a glare and Discord effect to normal enemies on first contact. This seems to be also a AoE, so everything about her is AoE, which is super strong in Overwatch. Because it helps you gain a lot of ulti charge and allows you to, to heal your entire team. Life Weaver is different. Life Weaver, if someone is feeding, you cannot save the entire team, right? So, with there being a lot of AoE, makes it super strong, in my opinion. So, it is like a grenade. Pretty much a grenade that uh, glares, flashbang, and puts a discord effect on him. <sighs> this, this is going to be such a high counter for ball chat. Like Discord and knockback, stop the fireball, jumps, really hard to kill if she jumps. <laughs> and then I'm guessing that the, the drone is going to be destroyable. Like a support, <laughs> this is going to be, I think it's going to be, she's going to be good, but not as good as many people will think she will be, I think. Because she only has one damage ability, which is a right click. But you're not going to be able to do that much if the team is feeding because you have to heal. But you do have supplements to heal if you want to do damage, which is very interesting. Okay, we haven't reached the passive. In can delight all enemies that have a glare and discord effect in your line of sight give you over a health. <laughs> all enemies that have a glare and discord effect in your line of sight give you over health. Oh no! Automatically heal over time? She's gonna be so hard to kill. It's like lifesteal. This is so strong. Like, she's gonna be so hard to kill, chat. 
So basically, you're gonna get over here in your line of sight. If you, okay, they need to be on your line of sight. So you're gonna get over here with your right click is gonna give you over health. Your ulti is gonna give you over health. Your drone is gonna give you no. Your drone is not gonna give you over health. The flashbang is gonna give you over health. So you have three abilities, pretty much, that are going to give you over health. She needs to be at 150 HP. Please don't make her 250 HP, please. Over health, not over heal, my bad. But the reason why I think this is going to be really, really OP on her, it's because she has a lot of abilities that give her that. It's not just one. So a right-click... Basically, chat, you want to be right-clicking all the time. Like, you want to be right-clicking and putting your turret, and that's pretty much it. It's like damage boost. You don't want to be you don't want to be healing a lot. You want to do as much damage boost as you possibly can. No, no, I, you don't want to be healing boarding when you're there because you don't get your passive by healing. You're gonna yeah, you're gonna heal when you have to, but for mo also you waste resources when you're healing. So you want to deploy your drone as much as possible on your team. I'm very curious about this. Uh, so you want to be my guess is you want to be. Always pressing right click. You know, as Mora, you threw either the damage orb or the healing orb, and then you just suk suk the enemy. That's what you want to be doing. You want to be always beaming with the alternative fire, which applies glare after three seconds and a discord effect. I don't know if this applies glare right after you click her or only after three seconds. We need to find out. But you always want to be beaming with your right click. Always. And then let the turret heal. So this passive is so strong because you're going to be doing this a lot. So you're going to have this that you will also automatically heal over time. I don't know if this is the support passive or is actually an extra passive that she has that the over health heals her. You know, like some, some abilities allows you if the over health transforms into HP. Some abilities, they do that in League of Legends a lot. So I wonder if this is what's going on here. She's going to be super hard to kill. Because, like, this, again, she has three abilities that allows you to apply her passive. Her ultimate, her right-click beam, her flashbang. This is pretty much infinitive over health. I'm guessing there is some kind of limit to it. But you want to always be doing this to have the over health. But, but, she does like a little bit of damage. Her turret just do, don't do damage. Her jumping knockback doesn't seem to do damage. The only ability that does damage is her beam. So we just need to check how much damage she does. We just need to check how much damage she does. I don't even think that her ulti does damage. So she's very support oriented with a lot of utility. But she has this. It really depends how much damage she has. But even if she doesn't have a lot of damage, like her, her utility, it's really, really strong, chat. Really, really strong. She has CC. And AoE utilities, which are super strong. Look at the Ananate. She has low mobility, though. Yeah, she doesn't seem to have any dash. She does bounce high, though. She does bounce high, and she. this might be some mobility to activate a free flight mode. We don't know what this is. Flight mode, I don't know if it's like Bastion Ultimate, where you just stay still, or you actually go in the air somehow. So my first impressions of her, knowing this, I think... She's going to be complex to play. I think the higher the division, the stronger she's going to be, in my opinion. She doesn't do much damage. She only has a right click to do damage. But she's going to be really, really hard to kill. Really, really hard to kill. People saying this picture is fake. Yeah, this looks a little bit weird for sure. But this seems... Like, this seems legit. Looking what they've done with Life Weaver, with Kiriko... This seems kind of legit because they seem to be in the same world of those heroes. And I know that she, I know for sure that her name is Ilari. And I know that she has a jump ability, which seems to be this one. So I know those two things are true and they mentioned those two things. And also Blizzard deleted the post where there was this picture on. And the fact that the English is not that great on this post. Also makes me believe that is also true because usually they release their abilities in Korean or Japanese interviews. So when translating, it becomes like weird. But this is my opinion about her.
Will she be super strong? I think she's going to be stronger than Life Weaver and Mercy. She has a way more utility than those heroes. She's not going to be super hard to play, right? Because her abilities, they don't seem to be super hard to play, which is nice. Right? It's not a super high skill ratio. And every ability has some kind of AoE, which is super strong. So she's going to be there. I don't think she's going to be as strong as Bap, Anna, Zen. I don't know, man. It, it really depends how much the Discord is and how much damage her beam does. So we'll have to wait to see. That, that's my, my first opinion. I hope, uh, I hope this video helps you to have an idea of what she's going to be.